Hey guys, welcome back to my Shopify YouTube series. My name is Hannah Gardner. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to install your Facebook Pixel into your Shopify website. So for newbies out there, a Shopify Pixel is a piece of code that you can embed into your website and it basically what it does, it's like a mini brain um, that collects all the data of the demographics of the people that are interacting, touching, purchasing, initiating checkouts, doing different things on your websites. It's collecting that data and it's communicating that data back to Facebook. So then when you want to run retargeting ads or just ads in general, you can make what's called lookalike or custom some audiences where Facebook ads will be optimized for targeting people that look similar or are the exact people that are already interacting with your website. So I'm going to show you how to do this and how you can embed this code. It's going to take you about four seconds um, and I'll see you in about 10 seconds. All right, guys, welcome back. Remember in this video, I'm showing you how you can install your Facebook pixel into your Shopify website. It's gonna take you uh, literally three seconds. It's super, super easy. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go into your Facebook business manager as you see here. Um, you're gonna wanna head over to the top left corner and you're gonna wanna go to under events managers, events manager and go to pixels. Um, what that's going to do, it's going to bring you to this page, to your events page to create a Facebook pixel. Um, now I started doing this before I started recording this video, but what would happen here is there's going to be a little blue button and it will say, um, set up Facebook pixel. You click this button, um, you would then launch, you click this button and it will lead you to this page essentially. Um, and what you're going to do is it's going to ask you to set up your pixel. So you're creating the data source and now you have to relay a piece of code and put that back into your Shopify store so that Facebook and Shopify can be in communication together. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit view setup instructions. Facebook makes it stupid simple to do this um, because it integrates really well with a lot of different platforms, including Shopify. So we're going to go to connect a partner platform. And guess what? Shopify is on the list. So we're just going to hit Shopify right here. And it's literally going to give you step-by-step -step instructions. This has evolved over time. Um, and now it's even more simple than what it was like a year ago. So um, what we're going to do, it's going to ask you grow your audience size with advanced matching. Facebook can match information people share with you through your website, like an email address or phone number to people on Facebook, increase your matches. So we're going to want to turn this on because we want to have as most the most accurate data as possible. We're going to go continue. And now it's essentially going to be showing you how to set it up right here inside the platform. Um, but I'm also showing you, so that's all good. Um, number two, it says copy and paste your pixel ID. So it's going to give you this piece of this number right here. Um, we're going to continue. I just copied it. And it says three click save. So it's showing you that you need to go and, and embed this code inside your Shopify store. So what you're going to do is you're going to go over to Shopify. You're going to copy this, these numbers. You're going to go into your store. You're going to click online store and then you're going to hit pref preferences. Um, and then you're going to see there's going to be a little form right here that is for your Facebook pixel. You're just going to paste that piece of code right here and you're going to hit save. And now we're going to head back over to Facebook and continue um, verify connection, um, verify that your pixel is working correctly, verify your pixel is working by sending test traffic to your website. This may take several minutes. If it doesn't change to active after sending test traffic check to make sure you're following the previous instructions correctly. Okay, cool. So we're going to go send a test traffic to our website. Um, so this is for one of my clients. Let's go to her website. We're going to grab this URL here. We're going to put the URL here, send test traffic. And 
I have a Chrome extension that also tells me when websites have Facebook pixels. And as you can see here, um, it's lighting up green. So that means that this website has a Facebook pixel successfully installed. Um, and you can even see what event that it's tracking while you're going through the website. So this is page view right here. Um, and Shopify and Facebook integrate so good that you don't have to even do extra steps to track specific events. So an event looks like a page view, a view content, initiate checkout, add to cart. Facebook and Shopify do that automatically for you. Whereas like if you're on like another website like Wix or something, usually you have to install like it's a whole other process. But just know that it's already tracking when you get add to carts, initiate checkouts and all those things and really, really valuable data that you can use inside your Facebook ads. So it's all set up, good to go. Um, if you wanna get this uh, Chrome extension, I have a link in my bio. Um, it's called Facebook Pixel Helper. It's a free Chrome extension. You just download it to your Chrome, into your Chrome bar. And whenever you go into anybody's website, you'll be able to see, <laughs> you'll be able to see if your competitor is running Facebook ads or get an idea if they're running Facebook ads, whether or not they have a pixel installed. Because for the most part, if you have a Facebook pixel installed, you're paying to play, so that means you're running ads. Um, so that's called Facebook Pixel Helper, but it also, I think it just ran a test. Yep, so it ran a test inside Facebook as well. So now it's saying it's active, so we're good to go. The Pixel is installed um, and we're gonna continue and we can test events. So that's what I was telling you about. Um, the Pixel is installed, so now it's testing specific events like initiate checkouts, add the cards. We don't have to do any other extra steps to make sure that those events are tracked. So super, super valuable data, um, but that's pretty much it. Um, if you guys have any questions, just make sure you comment down below with your questions. And if you have any other uh, tutorials that you need, um, comment those down below as well. And we can, and I can put out videos um, talking about those specific questions. All right guys, I'll talk to you later.